Hello to all my friends out there. Well, it's hot here. Extremely. I don't know how hot, but it's hot. Enjoy life as much as we possibly can. Okay, I want to talk to you guys about the new normal. Okay, in this town, the new normal is more poverty than I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it is sad. It is really, really bad. Why this is okay, I'm not sure. No jobs, can't work, get homeless, live in extreme poverty, uh, haven't had, I see a lot of people have never had any exposure to, to uh, what to do if you, you're really poor. If you're really, really poor and you don't have any money and you don't have a job, you're going to be homeless. So, and, and I mean, it is horrible, even women. Um, okay, generally in the day, a long time ago, you'd go in the, at least go in the bar and pick up somebody, get a home. <laughs> Can't go to bars. <laughs> it's germs in there. You know, you could go to church and maybe you could meet somebody and get married and the families, nice families, forget that. That's not normal. Okay, we have a recall on our governor, Governor Newsom. When the pandemic first started, I thought, oh my gosh, San Diego is the worst place you could ever, ever live if something starts going wrong. And uh, so it hasn't been as bad as I expected. It hasn't been good, but it hasn't been that bad. Uh, and I think part of it is the liberal uh, welfare here. And the fact that the, the weather is very mild, you know, but still I think this, this poverty is going to cause decades of problems. So I'm voting that he stays. But then they want another vote. Okay, if he doesn't stay, then who do you want? Well, because of all the voter fraud, I'm afraid to put another uh, vote on because you never know what they're up to. So Meet Kevin, who is a YouTube star, is running. <laughs> He has no experience as a politician. He's a lovable guy and a likable guy. Um, but there is a good, um, one good alternative. There's a bunch of them. So what that's gonna do is just dilute the whole vote for the alter alternate. If hopefully that's not happening, fire season is coming. We need an experienced governor. Uh, Mayor Faulkner of San Diego is running and you know a lot of people were mad because no new stadium and the Chargers left us. Well now here we have the pandemic. That was our lucky day. So he's a good choice. I have a few days left. Um, I had a terrible time voting for President Trump. I mean that was the weirdest, weirdest thing. You know, I had a, I had no idea I had moved. I had no idea. Now this time I have no idea either, but I had no idea where I was going and, and the place where I voted seemed to be in a bad part of town with no parking. And I went in there and it was, but I, I cast in my vote. <laughs> okay, so today I'm refilling my water because the YouTube chatter has it that the 11th and 12th of this month, we may have some kind of an event, like a power grid shut down. Make sure you have cash and water if you live in San Diego. Um, and it could be prolonged and maybe like some kind of invasion. I mean, it's gonna be something totally unexpected. Uh, meteor showers, which are generally harmless, but what if they go out of control? So I'm going around getting my water. And so I'm in my car, and since the beginning of the year, I've been living in my car most of the day, all the day. Unless I'm busy, of course, shopping. You know, I uh, shop, I buy used items, and I sell them. 
And so I'm going to start doing some of this. I've never really done this before. I'm going to start doing some of this off-grid living, like buying stuff I need in thrift stores and, you know, going without stuff and, you know, not throwing myself into a poverty existence. I mean, that could happen, so why do that before? Uh, you know what I saw is I saw this couple. This is like back to the science thing, the Brownian um, attraction thing where a molecule will just bump into each other and there is a slight attraction. But I think since in people that's not the case, it's the same thing in cells. So, or atoms. So anyway, I saw this couple and it was at Smart and Final and they had a truck and it was piled full of stuff. It looks like they had bought it at a thrift store or, or um, maybe a swap meet and they had the big bags of cheese like several like three of them uh, from smart and final the only reason i wanted to make cheese is if something happens you know i'm going to make some cheese out of my evaporated milk and i will get better at that as time goes on but in the meantime i think i'll buy those big bags at smart and final so i thought yeah like that's smart you know and they're saying more young people are going to be like this because what we have to adjust is to the, the reality of the way things are. But we don't really want to do things to lower our standard of living because we want to try to prevent that. We want to, you know, things are going to be better. Okay, so I eat in my car. So here is my HelloFresh bag. And so what is happening is in some parts of the country, McDonald's cannot get bags to serve the food in, you know, in the drive-through. So they're actually closing and being open only five days a week. So last time they closed the the lobby during the the the, the great sickness. And now this time it looks like they're restricting the drive-through. Why? Well, because that's gonna make the public so uncomfortable, but I do believe that it's a possibility that there's no bags. So when I go to the 99 cent store, I don't even use bags. I'll remember when we used to get bags free, but I am gonna beef up on uh, paper bags. And so what they're saying is because everything is so expensive and, and it really is the pain in the rear. You go to the stores and, you know, that people are just eating fast food and now, you know, the fast food is closed. So what I brought, these are my, you guys, these are really good. These are the skillet bread. Instead of buying a pie today, I brought my skillet breads. Let me see if I can show you. What I did is I made my skillet breads like an apple fritter. And I just made the skillet bread. And I put a quarter uh, cup sugar, one apple, and some cinnamon. And then, you know, you, you make the skillet bread and you don't need so much oil. And then I drizzled some uh, thin icing on top. So those are my snacks for the day. And then I brought um, one can of soup. I just eat it out of the can. And I started eating these uh, pretzels, unsalted. These are good. So my, um, say if I ate the whole bag of pretzels, that would be a dollar and the soup was a dollar 74. So, okay, so, uh, you know, also, you know, to keep the utilities down. So anyway, so now, so they're re probably gonna restrict the hours of, of the fast food being open and why? Well, because this time the government wants to make the businesses pay for the, uh, when the people can't work. I was in this McDonald's and I say, hey, hey, where were those ladies that worked here like 20 years? And they go, we don't know. Um, Kmart used to be famous for that, getting rid of people right before they could get their um, retirement. 
we're going to see more be seeing more treacherous stuff we're going to see resource snatching and all kinds of treacherous treacherous stuff okay so we need to be prepared that maybe these fast food places are not even going to be available to us uh, for stockpiling uh, the canned food is probably the best okay I want to talk to you about accidents okay what I know this guy and he, he had a bad broken arm I don't know he fell I fell and and I hit my arm we'll see if I can show you my bruise look but I didn't injure myself too bad but I could have and then one of the YouTube guys broke his arm so be very careful you know they say oh business is bad in the US not in medical not in pharmaceutical so President uh, Biden wants to lower the price of pharmaceuticals. Okay, when the consumption is up, the price goes down. Remember we talked about that? When the price is up, the consumption is down. So President Biden wants to lower the pharmaceutical price. Why? Because the consumption is up. And that is one of our manufacturings is pharmaceuticals and medical which is not good you guys okay so now i want to talk to you about these people posing as people from the right and they talk about things like spirit guides ascended masters um what is this elevating the consciousness and such like that okay I, i've been watching um oh what is this uh where they uh, do these regressions into past lives. That is very dangerous. That is a good way to pick up a demon. An ascended master, uh, I was studying the secret doctrine. And so she was from, she made her way to America. I, I forget where she was from. I think it was like Russia or somewhere like that. And she would travel the world and she was an occultist. And she would do, you know, um, seances and stuff like that. But an ascended master is coming up. Where is this ascended spirit from? Lower regions. Okay, so when they want to elevate the consciousness and they want to permit these spirits to come up, they don't come up when life is good. They come up when life is bad. You know, like war, like killing, like distress. And so in the end of times, they tell us that we're going to have a whole bunch of demons unleashed. Okay, another thing is like bad, uh, bad stuff going on. You know, real bad stuff. We all have heard about it. They love that. When the, that's why I thought it would be a good nurse because I realized the danger of death and severe accidents is at those times, uh, a lot of times there'll be a vicious fight at the very end of a person's life uh, for that soul. But it didn't work out and I'm personally very happy about that. Everything I ever wanted to do that wasn't good for me and God stopped me later I could see. So, these ascended masters are devils also masters like i'm my dog's master my dog is not my master the ascended masters are the masters of humans that doesn't sound good so we want to watch out for that and so then uh you know these um another thing about these uh regressions those could be actors also don't be too so trusting you know uh, this will be a good one and you know then they find evidence that is a real regression well we don't really know that another thing is like when people are you know this intel stuff well I got it from the I, I got it from the psychic realm well that's possible you know it might not be good but it is possible but we want to realize Oh, look, here comes a pigeon. I think he wants some of my, I think he wants some of my, um, he wants to be a beggar. He wants, there's a lot of them out here. He wants some of this, uh, he'll like this. 
I used to have a lot of birds. We used to communicate. But anyway, so uh, this stuff, you know, in the day, end of days, they talk about a doctrine of devils. Um, voodoo. Anyway, so we're tr we're talking about the what do you call it? The consciousness is accessing these spirits through voodoo, through magic, through um, hypnosis. Uh, a person is very vulnerable when they're under hypnosis. I don't think that's a good idea. Also, these doorways and gateways are very dangerous. Um, you know, they'll see a, a door or a gate and they will enter into that. Uh, now, the thing is, I think that is the past, but it very well could be a, a concurrent reality. So what you're doing is you're entering into a spirit world and the inhabitants of the spirit world may not be, especially when there's like death, killing, uh, anguish. Uh, this is the thing about the alien regressions. And so my friends over here say, look. Hi, you guys. Yeah, they like my food. At least somebody appreciates it. So anyway, we want to uh, beware of that. It's not a good idea to try to enter into these doorways or pathways or wormholes. Uh, sometimes, like uh, during your sleep, um, you know, if you dream of stuff, when you're asleep, you're not willfully um, trying to do this stuff. So that, that is not going to carry the same uh, bad results uh, that when you you're not you're not going to pick up a devil unless you ask for it basically and so at first it seems good because you have all this uh knowledge it but later it, it's not so good so anyway another thing to be aware of is the luciferian doctrine so um the kingdom of this world was given to us uh, Satan or Lucifer or the devils the whole world was given to them for a time so uh, it's like a little bit uh, dangerous and watch out for um, accidents those are very bad okay you guys please like and, and make sure you have water and food and gas and cash and a weapon and God bless you all